Welcome everyone to my channel, Angela Lee Yoga. My name is Angela and I am so happy you're here showing up on the mat for yourself. Today's practice is short and sweet, perfect for those who are pressed on time but want to get in some power movements before the start of the day. Ah, the morning, a symphony of delight when sunbeams paint the sky with hues of gold. It is my absolute favorite time to practice yoga. Please join me in Varasana Diamond Seat. Sitting on your knees and heels. Close your eyes and rub your palms together. Generate some heat. Then when you're ready, place your palms on your eyes. Give yourself some time to wake up with this warmth of your palms. Inhale, open your eyes and keep your back straight. We'll begin with some neck stretches to release any tensions from last night's sleep. Start with tracing half circles, moving from one side, then the other. Then maybe you tilt your head back and forward. Now the shoulders. Place your fingers on the top of your shoulders. Invite the elbows to draw near like a tender kiss of reunion. Inhale. Guide your elbows up towards your face. Exhale, circle them back down. Let's do that a couple more times. Let your breath guide you here. Inhale to bring your elbows up. Exhale to release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Wonderful. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, melt your heart forward, find solace in child pose. Lengthen and widen the spine with each inhale, surrender deeper into the pose with each exhale. Take a moment here to set your intention for the day ahead. Ask yourself what kind of day you want to have. Focus on the positive energy you want to attract and radiate into the world. Take a full breath in and a full breath out, grounding yourself in the present. Keep stretching your arms forward with intention until you come lay onto your belly arms by your side, palms facing upward, as if inviting the sky to embrace you. Inhale, exhale, lift your head, your arms, your legs up, locust pose. Your core and pelvis rooted to the mat. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Release your locust. Take a moment here to reconnect with the rhythm of your breath. Inhale and exhale, locust. Maybe this time you lift your legs higher, press onto your pubic bone, draw your belly in and up. Hold it here for four, three, two, one. Let it all go. Take a full inhale and a full exhale. Push into your palms to send your hips up, down, or facing dog. In the morning, the calves and hamstrings tend to be tight, so maybe you take your dog out for a walk, bending into one knee at a time, stretching out your legs. Shoulders down and away from your ears, tailbones reaching to the sky.
when you're ready extend your right leg up bend into your right knee inviting a gentle opening within your hip keep reaching that knee even higher if you can before stepping it between your palms find low lunge your right knee is stacked over your ankle inhale engage your core to lift up palms in prayer spin your back heel so your foot is about 45 degrees angle warrior one keep drawing your belly into your spine and breathe inhale lengthen through your spine exhale soften the space between your shoulder blades draw your arms out in front of you bend at the elbows wrap your left elbow under your right binding once or twice eagle arms the emphasis here is to keep your shoulders down elbows up palms away from your face inhale and exhale release your arms to a t-shape as you pivot your back foot parallel to the shorter edge of the mat warrior two send your gaze past your right fingertips inhale and exhale rest your left hand on the back of your left leg reverse warrior right hand reaching to the sky bicep by your ear find a slight back bend here as you slide your left hand further down your leg take a full breath in and a full breath out inhale come back to neutral straighten out your right knee exhale send your hips back as you hinge forward extended triangle pose circle your right arm down to your shin your ankle or on a block left hand reaches up to the sky engage your core to come up turn your hips and your feet to the right side of the mat hands on your hips inhale lengthen through your spine exhale fold from the hips plant your palms on your shins or on the mat option to use blocks here inhale to find space and exhale to fold deeper Walk your palms towards your right, frame your right foot and come to low lunge. Maybe you step your left foot up to meet your right, heels in, toes out, and sit your pelvis down, Malasana Yogi Squat. Palms at your heart, Anjali Mudra. Use your elbows to gently push your thighs apart, opening up your hips a little bit more. Sit up tall with your crown lengthened. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Plant your palms on the mat. Step your feet back into plank. Inhale, shift your plank forward an inch. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Melt your heart and head onto the mat. Let's find locust again. Inhale, lift your arms and legs up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale to lift and hold it for four, three, two, one. Exhale, let it go. Plant your palms firmly on the mat push your hips up and back downward facing dog melt your heels into the mat inhale to find space exhale melt further into the pose extend your left leg up bend into your left knee open up your hip keep reaching that knee even higher if you can opening up your hip before stepping it between your palms, find low lunge. Your left knee is stacked over your ankle. Pivot your back foot to about 45 degrees. Inhale, engage your core. Exhale, palms in prayer, warrior one. 
Look up if that's within your practice. Keep drawing your belly into your spine and breathe. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, soften the space between your shoulder blades. Extend your arms out in front of you. Bend at the elbows. Cross your right arm, right elbow under your left, binding once or twice eagle arms. The key again is to keep your shoulders down, elbows lifted and palms away from your face. Inhale and exhale. Now open your arms to a T-shape as you pivot your back foot to align to the shoulder edge of the mat. Warrior two. Gaze, direct your gaze past your left fingertips. Inhale and exhale. Rest your right hand on the back of your right leg. Reverse warrior. Left hand reach into the sky. Bice up by your ear. Find a slight back bend here as you slide your right hand further down your leg. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, come back to neutral. Straighten out your left knee. Exhale, send your hips back as you hinge forward. Extended triangle pose. Circle your left arm down to your shin, your ankle, or on a block. Right hand reaches up to the sky. Engage your core to come up. Turn your hips and your feet to the left side of the mat. Hands on your hips. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold from the hips. Plant your palms on your shin on the mat. Option to use blocks here. Inhale to find space. Exhale, fold deeper. Walk your hands towards your left. Frame your left foot and come to low lunge. Step your right foot up to meet your left, heels in, toes out, and sit your pelvis down, Malasana Yogi Squat. Palms at your heart, Anjali Mudra. Use your elbows to gently push your thighs apart. Sit up tall with your crown lengthened. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Plant your right hand on the mat, Left hand lifted up to the sky, take a twist. Send your gaze up to the left fingertips. Inhale and exhale. Find this twist on the other side. Left hand on the mat, right hand reaches for the sky. Inhale and exhale. Plant your palms on the mat to support you as you sit your sitting bones on the mat. We'll end today's practice with some core strengthening by coming to Navasana or Boat Pose. With your knees bent and feet out in front of you, lean back so you balance on your sitting bones. Zip up your rib cage so your core is nice and strong. You can place your hands behind your knees for support. Or if you want to challenge your core, lift your legs up so your shins are parallel to the mat. If this is enough, you may stay here, palm, palms reaching out. Or you can go further by straightening out both legs, come into this V shape. Keep engaging your core here and don't forget to breathe. Hold this pose for a count of four, three, two, one. Let it go. Good job. Now let's do the same one more time. Inhale. Lean back and lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale. Hug your belly into your spine. Inhale. Lift your legs up without the help of your hands if you can. Exhale. Lower your legs and your upper body. Inhale. Come back up to boat pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale to boat. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale to boat and hold it for four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower for four, 
three, two, one, and let it go. Stay onto the mat. We have come to Shavasana, our finding resting pose. Get comfortable here. Take up space and just let your body melt into the mat. Feel the grounding presence of the earth beneath you, providing unwavering support. Gently close your eyes. Allow your brows to unfurl, your jaws to relax, and every facial muscles to release tension. Let this tranquility to extend to your neck, shoulders, and arms. Bring your attention to your breath. Draw all your sensory organs to the breath and follow the breath deep inside. Watch the waves of breath wash through your entire being. Let your entire body ripple with the waves of breath. Be present with yourself. Embrace the present moment fully, releasing any lingering tension until you become expansive like the vast sky above. Become thoroughly familiar with what it feels like to be open, relaxed, fearless, undefended, peaceful, and still. As you drift away and start thinking or doing, gently find your way back to your breath, to the space of your heart, to the pure conscious awareness that is you. Be there. Be with yourself. Savor your last breath or two before bringing movements to your fingers, your toes, slowly waking up your body, stretch your arms up overhead, take a full breath in and a full breath out. Turn over to your favorite side and gently push yourself up 
into an easy seat. With hands at your heart, give yourself a moment of gratitude here for taking the time to practice, to be present. Enjoy the renewal you experience from this short break. May your day be happy, healthy, and full of love. Namaste. If you have any questions or feedback, do not hesitate to leave me a comment. Even if it's just to say hi, I love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification. That would mean the world to me. If you know a friend or a family member that can benefit from this practice, please do share. Let's practice together soon.